Minute 39 of I Love You 3000 Minutes. I'm Brian. I'm Richard. And this is the podcast where we time traveled back. Stealing Scott Lang's, or actually just borrowing it from Scott Lang. He's a really good friend of ours. In order to go through the quantum realm and just have some fun. But we squandered it. We ran out of pin particles. And now we're cursed. Beautiful curse. To rewatch the entire Infinity Saga. From Iron Man 1 to Spider-Man Far From Home. One marvelous minute at a time. I'm going to keep changing up these intros just a little bit every once in a while. As it should be. Oh, what's that? What's that Mandalorian thing? Also created and written a lot by John Favreau. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. I only watched like two episodes of The Mandalorian. It's good. Shoot me. Pew. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's a stud. <laughs> as long as I feel it's like we've split the difference between my insanity. Stun said it's a oh, stun. Oh right. Okay. Uh, what happened in this minute, Richard? So, let's see here. Uh, and Jensen explained... When I leave here. Yes. Jensen explained part of what he meant. His family died, and he's hoping to see them. In the next life, he he did what was necessary. He's saying, I want this, I want this, but... To see his family. Yeah, but also, he's it's a pretty dire situation. Like, he's, he's, you know, on his last legs anyways. So it's not like Stark is going to be carrying him on his shoulder while he's fighting off guys that are firing at him like yeah but that is what he meant by the in the last minute where he said this was always the plan mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. way earlier when they were playing backgammon i believe he said and i will see them when i leave here so mm-hmm. he always had a fatalistic view on his own lifespan mm-hmm. which is sad yeah it's uh i'm scared of death i'd rather live forever if there was a pill that could keep like de-age you like they've been trying to do and keep you in peak health i would rather live forever but uh it's gonna be weird because for some people when you get to a certain age or i guess in his case a certain predicament you just accept death yeah you would be like uh a god of death almost because you're watching all your friends like grow up and then die and then you're still I mean, in this scenario, of course, they have to have the pills be cheap enough for me to afford them, and then everyone can afford them. And people have literally responded with that, be like, well, what if your daughter dies? And I'm like, she will have the choice to do it. I may change my mind at a different point, but she'll have the choice to take the same pills, and I, I wish she would. But if not, it's her choice, and, you know, living long, I, think- I don't... I, I don't know realistically i think it would just make you more bitter as time goes on Mm because you know as we get older and we see more shit we get more bitter i definitely have to a degree angrier easier to like get pissed at someone running a red light or running a stop sign or just driving like a fucking idiot since i drive so much that's the main thing that i get aggravated more on but um would these pills keep you in good brain health too because no no no, no, no. i mean like the the first time i ever saw a report about them trying to find something like that it was with rats and they figured out a way to not only de-age the cells Mm -hmm. because as the cells replicate they slowly damage and that's what causes aging but they were able Mm -hmm. to reverse permanent injuries to like the muscles and stuff Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so in this scenario they were if they actually did that version, which going from rats to humans is actually stupid. It's just cheaper. I would be able to de-age myself back to when I was like 18 or 21. Sure. Which, metabolism! Mm-hmm. Um, then I'd stay at that age. I'd probably reduce my intake and regulate it so I stayed at that health. So the brain would be around that same age. I thought, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'd much rather have Wolverine's thing. <laughs> so just to be clear <clears throat> yeah with, without the adamantium skeleton to poison him yeah yeah but uh i mean just thinking about science that's the closest i've ever come to hearing about that yeah i totally do it and if it reversed uh you know bad brain health i would like probably drink a lot and have fun with that and um yeah it'd be interesting i don't know i would probably want to like start a few new lives but you know what I mean? Like, I want to live as oh, Sir, like... Sir Jean in uh, France or something, you know? Yeah, it would be interesting. It would be easy. No, I was going to say it would be easy to overtake PewDiePie eventually. But he's a millionaire, so he could afford that shit. He could fund <laughs> the research for these magic pills. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, that was a nice 
little tangent. I could go on that tangent for a while. But what uh, what happens after after he says his family's dead and he's gonna see them now it's a little bit of a saving private ryan moment he says you know live a good life don't waste it blah 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 and kind of like the the ending of saving private ryan earn this you know i don't remember the ending of saving private ryan but um the the big message was you know the the guys at the memorial of one of his fallen comrades that died in a war long ago to save him and send him back to his homeland to be with his wife like it was literally this guy has a wife and he has a kid on the way so we're deciding to send him back home which is a decision the army makes sometimes and so uh they did that discharge yeah And so, you know, they had a mission, men sacrificed their lives to save Private Ryan or whatever. And so he gets back home and it's him as an old man over one of their graves, you know, and he's like remembering that moment. The last thing one of them told him was earn this and like, you know, earn this. And so he turns back to his wife and he's he's like, tell me I lived a good life, you know, and it's like a touching moment. How long has it been since you've seen Private Ryan? That has I watched that and probably 2010 so 10 years okay so now we know that once we get to the 2010 movies if we get there fast enough richard will remember every detail it wasn't every detail that was like every important detail (laughs) that is a good summation of the ending (laughs) this kind of moment gets echoed in captain america the first avenger which everyone who knows it will know this but if you don't remember it it won't be spoiled for you yeah, then he, so, he goes outside. Everyone is so warmly dressed. Mm-hmm. It's the sun's out. And it's about to get hotter. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> she saved it for the next minute. Whoopsie. Oh, things I've never heard a woman say. Saved it till the next minute? No, that was good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are, What are these red sights about? Um, that's the, just the reflective the rifle, material in the rifles around fifty four seconds. That's just a reflective material in the lenses. I mean, you want as least sun glare as possible going into the lens, so mm. that it's just as clear of an image as possible. Like you know how they have these for glasses. Gotcha. Anti reflective coating. So that's just reflecting as much light out of that lens because there's probably like you know ten or ten between ten and thirty mirrors in there. Oh damn. Yeah. I like... Kind of 30 lenses and mirrors, so... I like at 45 seconds, the rifle has a light at the bottom, Mm -hmm. or whatever that type of gun is, Yeah, because they're used to going into the caves. Mm -hmm. I like that touch. Like, you would have thought, like, we're going to have 10 people outside with guns. Yep. It would be totally forgivable if they didn't think about having lights on them. They're being accurate to what what they would have that's nice that's cool i don't think we get a full shot of all the people but they start firing on him and i actually like these uh this i didn't mention in another minute but there's been some good handheld work in this action sequences even just walking around iron man while he's getting sparked on Mm -hmm. i've dug it yeah sweet so anything else for minute 39 (laughs) without our long thing about anti-aging pills long thing i've never had one of those Mm -hmm. yep that's it for 39 follow the minutes on instagram if you're listening (laughs) please leave a review or rating on apple Podcasts. if you're watching please like subscribe and check out those other minutes oh i'm so excited for the next eight years yeah i said that like i wasn't actually excited for the joke Mm -hmm. but i am excited it's cool it's gonna be exhausting for me. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'm Richard. I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> You've got an army. We've got a podcast. If you're listening on audio and I leave that big gap in, I was just smiling at Richard with the toothiest smile. Think community. I believe it's season three. The smiles that Abed and Troy have when they have a house for me. Did party. you say all the stuff about Instagram and view the next minute? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you did. not That's okay. Well, um, moving on. I'm pressing the red button. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>